Hi, good morning. You're watching Day Bird Aviaries. My name is Robert. I'm the bird master here, and today we're going to feed this little ringneck. He's almost weaned. He's not going to be able to be fed much longer. Moose is on my back pulling my shirt down and choking me. Moose is my blue and gold macaw. And we have Lolita in the background. She's going to start talking up a storm pretty soon, I'm quite sure. And we probably have a couple of other little friends that we're going to show, at least one. So y'all stay tuned. Make sure you're subscribed. Give us a thumbs up. Hit all those buttons. Notifications, all that good stuff. I think an angel gets its wings or something when you ring the bell. So I'm going to mix up the formula. We use uh, the Hagen, the uh, Tropican formulation formula. We get that from Amazon. I've got links for all that stuff down in the description. Just keep it in an airtight container. Uh, you know it's winter time, and so we have... Blossom. We have several of our other birds inside. This is Squirt Blossom. She is a I squirt of the blossom, Dad. She is a perfect lorikeet. You know, like zoos have lorries in the exhibits. I actually kind of surprised. She has them close. Yeah. What's that? She is a funny little bird. She is one of our most beloved little pet birds. And she's a bird. She is mostly all green. She's got that pretty yellowish color on her head. I'm making this just a little bit thinner than I normally would because I have a feeling that Squirt Blossom is going to want some. Now she is completely weaned. She is, she's about two years old now. And she was hatched in Florida. Lived in Tennessee for a little while as a tiny, tiny little baby, and then she came to live with us. Do you want some of this? Do you remember this? Huh? Let's see what happens. Look at that. I'm holding her back. She is a funny little thing. Oh, yeah, God. she's a thing. She's like a little wind-up toy. <laughs> okay, hand me the baby ring neck. <laughs> now let's see what happens. Okay. It, uh, we're in the middle of a thunderstorm outside, so if you hear rain... At least it's raining now. If it, you hear rain, it's, it's just rain. Now. now here is our baby ring neck. He is a violet green. See that beautiful color? on the tail and look look how pretty the wings are i love that lacy coloration on there let's see if he wants some formula squirt blossom you're you're a pain he wants the the ring neck wants to fly yeah, boy, so i'm going to keep my my hands over him he is a really sweet bird. He likes to cuddle, but he has learned that he can fly. And so we let him fly in the, here in, in my bedrooms where we keep the baby bird. Accidentally sometimes. Well, yeah, accidentally sometimes. Yeah. Now I'm watching very, very closely these two birds interacting. Squirt Blossom doesn't have a mate. We would like to get get a mate, a mate. And she is a girl, and we'd like to get a male to put with her. But um, like everybody else, we uh, have a limited budget for that, and so she's going to be a pet until we can get her a mate. But she doesn't live with another bird permanently, so she really enjoys her time when she gets to play with with others, and she loves she loves the babies. I don't think she's ever bitten anyone. I really don't. She's nibbled me sometimes. Well, she tastes you. She just... Uh, bird... <laughs> Look what she's done. Smite. She's not the cut over. Smite. I knew she was going to eat that. Smite. That's what she had to fit. Lori's have what's called a brush tongue. Their taste buds are elongated on the tips of their tongue. And they use that like a paintbrush to pick up nectar. 
out of flowers and so they eat a liquid diet and consequently they have a, a liquid poop Oh, no. And so they they don't make uh, good pets for absolutely uh, everybody here. Get back in the cup. Yeah. <laughs> Go in the cup. Go in the cup. Just having fun interacting with some of our birds. Lolita, you're being especially quiet today. What's going on with you? Wish you were here's here's Squirt Blossom. Here. You want to roll over? She'll lay on her back and play sometimes. Not all the time. Uh, if I let go of him, he's probably going to fly away. Fly up to a curtain. Oh, be calm, okay? Calm down. And this is what happens. Be if sweet. He does, if you let him go. If he flies. I'm going to... Well, you know what? Squirt Blossom can fly too. Yes, yeah, Squirt Blossom... Doesn't like to fly oh. you or something. Come back over here. Everybody wants to see you. Yeah, you're the star of the no show. No one wants to see me. <laughs> Especially my hands. Here, we'll put him back in the center. He's a star. But you can imagine. You don't mind. You're not you can imagine mind. these guys in the wild, a small flock of them, you know, 12 or 15 birds, a family uh. group. Kind of crawling around through the treetop, eating fruit and nectar, and even small insects and all kinds of fun things. Come here. She's bouncy. She's very bouncy. Yeah. One day I'll get a video of her hopping. Yeah. She's rabbit. Yeah, she she hops. He's, she she's can walk. But she also hops. Yeah, that's a fun way to move. Huh. She's in the cup again. Uh, I'm gonna let go of him and see what happens. Hmm. Go past him. He's a really sweet bird. Yeah. Yep, there he goes. And she's gonna get all excited. We're going to pause now. I just caught him as we paused. So. Yeah, Jeremiah got the baby down. Yeah. Squirt Blossom got real excited. And that's fine. That's normal. I expected that. Yeah. But she's inside for the winter because it's cold outside. Now, the big lorries, they have heat lamps and they sleep in their nest boxes. But because she's so small, we wanted to bring her inside. It kind of scares me when she nibbles me. We use that as an excuse to bring her inside so we can play with her. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she just jumped into the water cup. Head first, I might add. <laughs> she, uh... Now it's wet. Hey, hey, hey. Now it's wet. Okay, let's put her back. Okay. She's getting too rambunctious. And whoa, that camera just went all kinds of goofy crazy. There we go. That's a better view anyhow. I should have had the camera like that the whole time. Okay. And this is the wet spot. <laughs> yeah, it's all the wet. The is wet. <laughs> well, friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy our little baby bird videos. I sure do enjoy sharing our babies with you. I want to show you one more time. Look how beautiful the colors on his tail and wing are. Wings. He, he has two wings. <laughs> that beautiful violet color. It looks like he has a blue color on his tail. Oh, yeah. He's a violet. But a it looks violet. More blue. He's a violet green. It looks blue. Yeah, it is blue. Why do you call it violet? Because that's the name of the mutation. <laughs> Don't you know anything about birds, Jeremiah? I only, I pretty much only know they have two wings, no hands, claw feet, and feathers all over them. Body. Did you know that emus have claws on their wings? Isn't that terrifying? No bats. No bats have some. Well, friends, thank you for watching again. Make sure you're subscribed. God bless, bless you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Will you put this guy back? Yes. But don't bats have hands on the wings?
Yeah, so that they can climb around in the caves and trees and stuff. Good morning, Moose and I are here. We're about to feed our little baby bird. Now he's going to climb down the back of my shirt and walk around on the bed. Because that's what he does now. He is, um, well he's quite hilarious. He is, he's a pain. You're choking me. Goodness gracious, Moose. He doesn't move back. Where the fun, and that's once the level up for the fun, is going to get paid $5. Whoever will get awards at the uh, sorting area, they get paid $10.